up y'all, Mike here, and welcome to part three of building the All-American Closet. I am challenging myself to build a wardrobe that is 100% made in the USA, and I need your help. But first, if you have not watched parts one and two of this series, I've linked those in the description below, as well as the cards at the top of the video. Definitely check them out. I go through all of the shirts, pants, shorts, and a bunch of other stuff that is in my closet and American made. Today we're covering the ever important category of socks and underwear and I need y'all to tell me what to buy next because I think I have a couple of gaps. Y'all let me know in the comments below. I also want you to shout out your favorite American made sock and underwear brands on social media and tag us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever else and we'll do our darndest to make sure that we promote them as much as possible. So let's dive right into all of the American made socks and underwear that are in my closet. All right, so let's start with some basic athletic socks. Now, one of my go-to brands for this type of sock is a brand called Thorlos. They're based in Statesville, North Carolina, and have a ton of great American-made options. As you can see, I have a lot of them in my sock drawer and absolutely love how comfortable they are. They're super durable. The heels don't blow out really easily. And overall, they are just a brand that I feel like I consistently come back to when getting a lot of low-cut athletic socks. Moving on to some thicker socks that you might wear hiking or just in some colder months, I have a couple of go-to brands here. The first is Darn Tough. These guys are based in Vermont and have a ton of amazing wool socks. These are super breathable, very warm, and one of my go-tos for the winter. And then I also love Farm to Feet. This brand is made by a company called Nestor Hosiery. I actually visited them in Mount Airy, North Carolina earlier this year. I have a full tour video on that, their entire process, which you can check on the channel. I'll also link it in the description below. But amazing team there. They do a ton of different socks, but their Farm to Feet brand is 100% made in the USA. and a really great option for something a little bit thicker and more durable if you want something for hiking or like I said, colder months. For more formal socks, my go-to is boardroom socks. These guys are also based in North Carolina. I had the pleasure of touring one of their knitting facilities a little while back, so make sure to check that out on the channel. And they have a ton of different style varieties, so I have a few options here in my sock drawer, a more solid color, and then some more creative designs of varying thicknesses, no matter if I need something for summer, winter, or any of the seasons in between. They have a lot to choose from in their online store, so definitely check them out if you need more formal wear. And then they also do some no-show socks as well, which I really love for just everyday wear uh, with tennis shoes or just more uh, casual shoes or loafers. And so you can't, I guess, really see uh, the makeup of these since they are all balled up right now. Um, but they're really great and they have like a little adhesive on the back here, so it actually sticks to your heel really well. But I absolutely love these uh, for just something that's like super, super thin, super breathable. It's gonna stay on your foot and you won't see it at all no matter what shoe you're wearing it with. Moving on to underwear, this may be a bit of an overshare, but we're gonna do it anyway. There is one American-made underwear brand that is consistently in my underwear drawer, and that is All American Clothing Co. and their boxer briefs. These guys are super breathable. They have moisture wicking fabric and are really comfortable in general and are just a part of my everyday rotation. I have about four or five pairs of them and they're really the only American made underwear brand that I wear. So a couple other ones that I've been meaning to check out, let me know what y'all think or if there's some others that I should buy and I'll whip out my credit card and purchase them and let you know what I think. Uh, but the first is B Green. Now, not all their cotton is sourced in the US, but a lot of uh, their cotton is for some varieties and the rest of their production process does happen domestically, but they have some interesting styles that I've been looking at. And then Blade Plus Blue is another underwear brand that I've been looking at, but all their stuff is like always sold out. So I've been kind of on the hunt for figuring out if I can snag a couple of pairs, but I'll let you know what I think there. And if there's any other brands that I should buy, definitely let me know. 
What do y'all think? Is that a good collection of socks and underwear? Do I have any gaps? What am I missing? Let me know in the comments below. Shoot me an email, DM me on Instagram, Twitter, whatever else, and we will check out those brands, buy them, and let you know what we think. But stay tuned for part four of our All American Closet video series. And until then, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American made. See y'all next time.